Mm. New scary story. <laughs> Called Monster Ma. Here's the official movie poster. And glory to God for helping me to make it. Random pictures I put together. Being creative. <sighs> Part one. A young guy named Gilbert Pebbles recorded creepy videos and pictures of him inside a mall that was part of a creepy game show but the creatures there is real and not fake and they were hurting the people introduction i always give jesus christ the glory for my creative mind amen this original movie that i'm making up takes place in the house somebody is filming themselves on a cell phone like this Letting the viewers know whoever is watching this person that they have evidence that strange things was taking place at the Monster Mall. The powers to be, the secret folks in control who created this original television show said to the world that everything is not what it seems is just people wearing scary costumes for fun to scare the contestants and that it's all make-believe and you can win lots of money if you survive the night but that was a lie l-i-e the truth is the life forms that is on this game show is real and nobody knows where these monsters came from. <gasps> and they will hurt or kill anyone who is trying to take stuff from the stores inside the mall. Gilbert wants to talk to the cops about this situation. But he doesn't know if he can trust them or anyone. So he hides from the public. <gasps> he remembers what happened a few days ago. When he went to the Monster Mall for the first time, Mike Tibbles, the producer, and the camera crew had a few adults line up like five people, including Gilbert. They are outside in the parking lot near a two-story building, and they walk inside the place. The ruse is they must stay up all night grabbing anything that they want from the food courts or the arcade or the department stores, you know, like JCPenney's, Sears, Macy's, or restrooms or anything else that they see in the mall. And they must get to an exit door in time before a clock runs out, plus not to let any monster get them or they lose. If they survive, that lucky person gets $30,000 plus clothes or toys or something else. This mall has escalators and elevators. Gilbert is a black man. And he sees two pretty white women, Sonia and Nina. While Carla, a Mexican woman, is trying to get Gilbert's attention. But Maxwell, a cool Asian guy, is dancing to impress the ladies to be continued. Hope y'all like the story so far. Glory to God. Stay tuned for part two next time. Ah, <laughs>